and action. Below the freezing level is a brisk freezing breeze. <laughs> That's what we're experiencing right now, so don't go away. Be back later if I'm not an ice cube by then. This rock is white volcanic ash. Once the mountain, oh. <laughs> no mountains here. God is a god of order. <laughs> it's true. Yep. We have a kitten <laughs> playing with a Nerf dart as no one's trying to do his lines. <laughs> the scratch, scratch is very unnerving at times. <laughs> Yeah. Not over long ages. No. You said throw it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Succession. Whether the Columbia River. <sighs> do do window. Do do window. Oregon. It's, it's an area of Washington and Oregon. It's only about a couple inches wide. It's in the middle of the river, but it's a part of both states. Oregon. These deposits are known as high energy sediments and require strong water movement. The flood is the only logical way to explain this much power and explosive force behind a single rock. That's not an <laughs> It isn't? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Must have been my homework project. Yeah. None of these types of animals or people could have survived what happened. A meteor impact. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> that started the flood. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> In the atomic war, that also helped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's why there are all these craters around the Earth. Yeah. They weren't really meteorites, uh -huh. atomic. Uh -huh. Got it. Hush, hush. <laughs> Mountains were being pushed up, valleys were being poured, and what is now the Pacific Ocean was sinking lower. That's pretty good, but it looked a little fake. <laughs> yeah. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, okay. three Mississippi, four Mississippi. Go, 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 go. But you said a minute! I'm gonna spike your audio. But, 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 oh. but they can also be explained by a large scale, uh, large scale in the light of a, uh, a carved canyons through the uh, going wow. over the last few thousand years. <laughs> deposition. The John Day fossil beds are a testament to the rapid deposition. Volcanic activity. <laughs> Reminds us that there was a judgment for God's rebellion against God. <laughs> what? You said the Bible. God's rebellion against God. I said man. No, he didn't. Yes, I said that the rock has to be two million years old. But, but that means that this fossil is also two million years old. So I just found an australopithecus that's two years old using the roundabout dating method. If the fossils date the rocks, and the rocks date the fossils, then you have uh, the roundabout dating route! It's not working! By the way, creolutionists agree... <laughs> right... <laughs> there are those who are kind of halfway in between. <laughs> they, they believe that, that the Earth was created by God over millions of years, you know? <laughs> creolutionists. <laughs> or right. creolutionists. That's, that's the word. Creolutionists. <laughs> Why do those creolutionists always have to believe in long ages? <laughs> it's a good word. Creolutionist. Don't be a creolutionist, okay? <laughs> and to all those creolutionists out there, there is one God and he created the world in a literal seven days. No, six days. Six days! And he rested on the seventh. <laughs> That's where we got Sunday, creolutionists. <laughs> Both creationists and evolutionists agree. Yeah, but the creolutionists don't agree. <laughs> None of the evolutionists or creolationists could have survived this massive destruction. Sorry, I'm a um, silent, I'm silent film star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right. <laughs> Alright, silent film start. <laughs> okay. <laughs>